Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to come on here to go a little bit more in depth as to why I believe you should never tell a person with autism that they do not look autistic. Now, here's a bit of a backstory for you. So, for several years, I have attended uh, men's support groups for men who are struggling with herds, habits, and heinous. Some of the men who have attended those support groups have a history of drugs and alcohol. And one of the men who has attended, who is also a good friend of mine, he too has a history of drugs and alcohol. Now, when I first met him and first heard that about him, he is somebody that I never would have guessed that has a history of drugs and alcohol. And the reason why I never would have guessed that about him is because he is not the same person as he used to be. He's changed. See, when I think of an alcoholic or a drug addict, I'm thinking of somebody who does bad things and somebody who has poor judgment, somebody who acts abnormal and somebody who reeks of odor and then just looks so unhealthy. But my friend here, he is very clean, very well dressed and groomed and uh, he's very easygoing and he's very wise. Now, the reason why this is a very similar case for me as an autistic individual, when you're telling me that I don't look autistic, well, it's because I too have changed. You know, I have grown beyond the struggles that I dealt with due to being autistic. A lot of people tend to think of a person with autism as somebody who behaves abnormally, like somebody who, uh, struggles with learning and communicating, somebody who throws tantrums, and somebody who cannot process and understand information that is given to them. Now, I still exhibit some of those inner struggles, but not as bad as I used to when I was a kid. But one of the reasons why it is offensive for when you tell somebody they don't look autistic, it's like you're saying that autistic people are bad people. See, Autistic people did not choose to be autistic. We do the best we can with the inner struggles we have, but it isn't easy. Another reason as to why it can be offensive when you tell somebody they don't look autistic has to do with the work and school environment. I have told my teachers and supervisors that I struggle because I'm autistic, and they disregard that saying I don't look autistic and that I'm just making excuses. Well, who exactly are you to judge me for that? Do you really think it helps when you belittle me? I hope that this is something that you can take into consideration when you approach a person with autism. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions that you would like to see from me, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to acknowledge them. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you are interested in seeing more content from me. Thank you so much and have a good day.